welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my experience doing neuropsychological research. So without further ado, let's get started. I wanted to start off by saying that this is based on two kind of three experiences. The first one happened when I was doing my bachelor thesis. I decided that I wanted to do something in neuropsychology since I was studying neuroscience. And I came across this really nice person that she was lecturing me once and she seemed to be pretty knowledgeable. So I approached her and said, hey, I want to do my thesis with you. What topics do you have available? I was really excited to do something with MRI, but sadly I was not able to do that. Maybe because I was a bachelor's student and not a master's or for whatever reasons that I never got to know. But I ended up doing something else with EEG. And for me this experience was pretty eye-opening. I thought that I was going to like everything that I was going to do in neuropsychology and little did I know. I ended up doing the EEG for quite a while, about 4 months or so. And it was pretty interesting, but to me super complicated because there's a lot of physics, in my opinion, involved in all of the situation. And for me, it was super hard to understand the data analysis and the data itself. Like the whole part of putting a cap on someone, the electrodes, it was super cool and super nice. But the other side of getting the data and trying to understand and process it was super, super, super complicated. It was a bit bittersweet and I was not really as excited as I was going to be. In the end, I was kind of dragging it and I just wanted to get rid of my thesis and get it done and out of the way. And it was a bit disappointing. But my second experience with uh, research was during my master's thesis. So I came across another person that seemed to be super interesting, that was working in brain and cognition and he was the nicest person I've ever met in the field because in science normally there's a lot of competition, people are not exactly too friendly, they're more focused on their career and trying to get results and be successful themselves. It's not so much about like team aspect I would say. but. My supervisor for my thesis and my master's was the opposite. Super nice, super helpful, always open to discussions and to meet up with me to explain me anything, which I appreciated so much. The way I approached my master's thesis was I want to explore something outside EEG because I think this might not be it for me. So I did something else that implicated having patients, of course, or participants and a computer and like a whole app that was producing some stuff for them to see and they had to interact with the computer and so on. This different way of doing research to me was way more what I expected it to be. It was not so complicated, it was something that I could understand pretty thoroughly and that I could try to do the data analysis more confidently that I was doing with the EEG which I felt also better myself because I thought I was super out of place with the all with all the EEG research part. So after doing this with the computer and thinking that this is kind of I'm kind of getting the methodology way faster and way nicer and I can get her hypothesis, I can analyze the data better that I felt that there's always different ways of doing things and different choices and we shouldn't be close minded thinking oh I didn't like EEG, I'm never going to like neuropsychology research because in the end I ended up liking this. Of course, it is always a combination of the person that you're working with, the topic that you're working with and exactly what is hands on the whole research process of course. So when you find a good combination, even if the topic is not your dream topic, it can be super productive and you can learn so much from it which is why it did not happen to me. As I mentioned before, there were two kind of three experiences. The third experience is more of a moral that is basically when I did my master thesis, I was offered a job opportunity to continue doing research with my supervisor. And sometimes the least expected good things and job opportunities happen. So don't close your doors too fast because you never know what's gonna come after that. That was it in the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!